Today we're going to be looking at there is, er is, and there are, er zijn, and how to make them negative, and how to use them in questions. You use there is to indicate that there is something there. Dus er is iets in the singular. There is a spider in my bedroom. There is ice on the lake. And there is too much noise in the classroom. There is, you can contract to make it in the small form. There's, there's too much noise in the classroom. There are, you use in the plural, in meervoud. Net zoals er zijn, in Dutch. There are lots of mosquitoes in my room. There are lots of policemen outside. There are lots of children in the classroom. But please note, you can say there's, the contracted form, but you can't say there are in English. You can only say there are, the one time we're not quite so lazy. If you want to use these uh, sentences in the negative, this it is niet so, then this is how you do it. You say there is not for something in the singular and Engelfeld, or there isn't, of course. And you can say there are not, there aren't for it's in Meerfeld. So there isn't a spider in my bedroom. There aren't lots of mosquitoes in my bedroom. If you talk about something in the plural, meerfout, and you want to say something negative, so not with it, then you use any, the word any, to indicate none in English. So there aren't any chocolate biscuits left. You don't say there aren't some chocolate biscuits left, you say there aren't any. There aren't any children in the classroom means there are no children in the classroom. You don't say there aren't some children in the classroom. There aren't any children in the classroom. There aren't any leaves on the tree. To make questions using there is and there are, you simply turn the words around and put the verb at the start of the sentence. So instead of saying there is some chocolate left, to ask the question, you say, is there some chocolate left? If you want to say, there is a phone I can use, and you want to make it into a question, you say, is there a phone I can use? With the plural, you said, there are mosquitoes in my bedroom. And if you want to ask your sister the same question, you say, are there mosquitoes in your bedroom? So you quite simply Put the verb at the start of the sentence. Het werkwoord aan het begin van de zin. Now you've asked the question, is there and are there? To answer the question, as we know, if you just say yes or no in English, it can be thought of as being rude. So to answer the question, we simply repeat the verb used in the question. Dus je herhaalt het werkwoord dat in de vraag is gebruikt. Is there some chocolate? No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Are there leaves? No, there aren't. Yes, there are. So just repeat the verb in your answer. <laughs> 